Hey there guys, how are you? It's uh, it's almost 10 o'clock at night and this is going to be a random video. I'm going to do a whole bunch of random stuff, just give you guys updates, just talk to you guys. I'm a little bit bored, I'm a little bit lonely, and I'm hoping you are too. Don't get scared. One of the videos is going up on the Flickpick channel Monday, maybe Tuesday. It's a Q&A video. Uh, ooh, one video's done. The color grading that I did on it, it looked better in the editing program, and then when I got it onto YouTube Unlisted, it had like a yellowy look to it, and it looked like a 1997 music video with Avril Lavigne or something. I, well, I want to show you. That's what I want to do, is I want to show you guys on camera. Yeah, so anyway, what I did is I recolor corrected the video to make it look a little bit more cold and gloomy. I kind of like that. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, so here's the uh, the new color correction I did on it. And then, by the way, I just uploaded, or well, I'm about to, I'm getting ready. This video just got done rendering. It's the, uh, the Snapchat Q&A video where I took everyone's questions via Snapchat. What's the difference? I love my viewers more than you'll ever know. Uh, so yeah, if you guys haven't watched that Snapchat Q&A video, I'll put the link down below. It's uh, one of the last videos I put here on the channel. Uh, by the way, I ordered pizza a little bit ago, so the pizza guy might show up any time now. Uh, if you hear the doorbell, let me know. So I've currently been checking out new DSLR cameras. Right now I'm using a Sony, and the problem with this camera is there's not enough manual function on it. I mean, there's there's a little bit. Let me, I don't know. I, I want one with more manual function, and then I want one with a, a mic plug-in, and this one doesn't have that. Yeah, so I'm looking into that. Uh, very expensive. I'm not a rich guy, I promise you, but, you know, I do make videos for a living, so it's kind of like, if I'm going to put money somewhere, it's got to be into, into equipment. Plus, it's fun. It's a creative outlet. So, all right. Here I am right now. This is the camera I'm currently using. This has been a... I'm going to start using this. I've had this camera for, like four or five months and I've never really used it. Every time I make vlog videos, I don't have this with me, so I use my phone. But this camera's quality, I love the way that this camera looks and I need to start vlogging more with it and that's what I'm doing now. But check this thing out. This is what I wanted to show you. This is a tripod I just bought. And you know, I know you guys have seen things like this before. Let me give you guys a closer look at it. And before I give you that closer look, let me go, uh, I need to turn the light on outside for the pizza guy. Rule number one, guys, if you guys get pizza for delivery, two things I want you to remember. This is from a former pizza delivery guy, such as myself. Um, always turn your uh, outside porch light on. There we go, see, outside porch lights on, so they can find your address and they don't feel like they're about to get stabbed in the darkness. And rule number two, if you get pizza for delivery and you're too lazy to go get it yourself, well, tip your fucking pizza delivery driver. It's like, come on people, this guy went out into the rain, the snow, the cold, the darkness, he risked life and limb to deliver your pizza, and you don't even tip the guy a few dollars? What's wrong with you? I can't tell you how many people stiffed me when I was a pizza delivery driver, and it, I just don't comprehend it because there are people who ordered pizza every other day. They're not tipping me to bring them their pizza. I live off tips. I'm pretty sure they know that because they're not incompetent. Well, maybe they are. Oh, and very quickly, let me turn on some more lights. One quick uh, pizza delivery story I have for you guys. I don't even know where the lights are. Okay, there we go. Uh, I have only lived here for two months and I've, I've turned this light on one time. I'll shut up in a few seconds and show you this awesome tripod. Uh, but yeah, delivering pizzas. Actually, I'm gonna sit you guys on the tripod. There we go. Okay, so as far as delivering pizzas, I remember people who tipped me $5 and over, I would give them grade A perfect service. Like if they ordered a pizza, I would run to my car, drive 120 miles per hour, cutting off people. I didn't care like a demon and, and run up to their door, do a cartwheel, bring them extra garlic sauce. That's all it takes guys, that's all it takes. Okay, here's this sexy little slinky tripod. I bought this the other day off Amazon. It's not very expensive. And uh, I love it. I don't know why I never bought one of these sooner because you can use this for a tripod. You can hang it on trees. If you want, you want to get a shot, you can set this on your dashboard in your car because it's so flexible. And you can also just hold it as a grip when you're holding the camera, which is what I like to do. I don't know, I love this. And I've been shooting videos at my desk and this is what I use to shoot the videos. I just sit on my desk. And it comes with this quick little quick release thing here, uh, but it has a level on it. That way, like, cause it's a flexible tripod, it's easy to, you, you, whoa. Pizza guy's here. Let me go get it. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Not too bad. Okay, I really just want to shut up now and eat this pizza. But like I was saying, this tripod has a quick release on it, which is awesome. Uh, but anyway, if you guys want a closer look at the tripod I'm using right now, which I do love, 
Uh, I'll put the link down below to Amazon. Definitely check out the tripod, look at it. Just look at that pizza. I know a lot of people are hungry right now. Get something to uh, drink here. I'm thinking maybe like Diet Pepsi. I can't, I can't take it off with one arm. Okay, by the way, this camera just shut off because it is a DSLR type camera. They always overheat. They shut off every like 10 or 20 minutes. And it's, I feel like that's such a design flaw for a guy who makes videos. Like I want my camera to stay on until I shut it off or the battery goes dead. It shouldn't overheat. It's like, put something in there to make it, I don't know, put some ice cubes in there or something, Sony. So yeah, down below, let me know your thoughts, your opinions, and uh, I don't know. Did you guys ever work in the food industry and what pisses you off about it? Let me know all that down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.